yes, I am walking. Yes, I am progressing at physical therapy. But there's still an extremely scary aspect about my leg. And I will show you. Pretty much when you have a knee injury and you don't use your leg for a long time, you lose all the muscle mass in your quad. And this is what my left leg looks like compared to my right. It's about one third the size. Tensing my right and then tensing my left, it looks like a, <laughs> a chicken finger. <laughs> and I mean, this hasn't really affected me mentally that much. A lot of people say that it gets them depressed, but uh, I'm honestly happy to just be walking around. Four, five, six, seven. It'll be 10 tomorrow, 10 weeks. Today marks the first day of week 10 since my surgery. I can't even believe I'm saying this, but it actually went by really fast. And I can't even believe that I'm here and this far. And I'm gonna demonstrate what 120 degrees of a knee bending looks like against this wall here. Cause it's taken me 10 weeks to get here. If you recall from my previous videos, first time at physical therapy, I could only bend it 20 degrees. I pretty much do physical therapy twice a day when I'm at the house, and twice a week I go out to Rothman Physical Therapy and EHT and do a more intense physical therapy session. But keeping up on my exercises, my life's getting stronger, and it's paying off. Everything is happening as it should. Oh. So that's about 90 and I can get all the way <laughs> actually get forever so there definitely hurts but it's more of a stretch it used to hurt hurt now it feels like I'm just stretching definitely progress Ow. This is something they don't tell you when you get hurt and you get surgery. It doesn't just hurt when you get hurt and it doesn't just hurt right after surgery. It hurts whenever you have to work on it. It hurts whenever you step on it a little weird. And you have things like my leg muscles just ache when I'm in bed some nights because they're so atrophied and stuff. Everything's getting a lot better and I'm making a lot of progress. Up until about a month ago, I was spending 24 hours a day on this couch here. And guess who misses me? And it's sad. Hi, Jay. Sleeping on my socks. Oh my god. You're still my favorite. You're still my favorite. Yeah, you're really cute. You are. You're really cute. <laughs> As you can see, I'm now driving pretty much every day, everywhere I need to go. Feeling a lot better, a lot stronger. I'm driving out to physical therapy right now. I'm gonna show you guys how my physical therapy has changed. Best coffee cup in the history of the world, Sex Pistols. One thing that's changed for me about driving is like, I used to drive and just not think about it, <clears throat> and like how crazy or how dangerous it is, but since I didn't drive for like two and a half months, when I got back on the road, I was just like, I'm like holy shit, this is so dangerous. People drive so fast, they pass you, like stop. I just drive like a granny now. I drive like the speed limit or below it, and like four cars back from every car, just because I guess I'm subconsciously protecting my knee, but also that two months off of the road just like really gave me perspective of how crazy the road really is. I mean, this is how I walk in the morning for the most part. My knee's usually pretty sore before I stretch, so I wouldn't say I'm like a flawless walking machine yet, but uh, aiming for it. I'm progressing really well. I'm really happy about it all, but uh, it's definitely hard work. It's no cake walk, I'll tell you that. It's a lot of... The physical work is not as hard as the mental work. It's hard to convince yourself that doing leg raises in your living room is going to fix your leg, but somehow how the human body works, 
it is and I'm living proof that physical therapy definitely works because seven weeks ago I crutched in here with my mommy driving me my knee was the size of a fucking cantaloupe and I could only bend 24 degrees seven weeks later today I'm fully riding a bike bending 130 degrees on my knee driving my own car and uh, I actually have a muscle in my quad now. When I first got on that bicycle, I pretty much could only move my knee forward, stop it, and then move it back. Move it forward, stop, move it back. Bend as far as I could, stop. I pedaled over a mile today, like 1.17 miles, which is huge for me. About like a month ago, I couldn't even picture being able to pedal a stationary bike and I can't really can't wait to get on a, on a real bike and actually ride around that's gonna be like the best day of my life such a simple thing but uh just something stupid that I miss so much like it's great that I can balance on my leg I couldn't even foresee being able to balance because my leg was so weak it's pretty epic that I started doing squats today because that is like a huge part of surfing is you know squatting and, and balancing so so this is my stimulator machine it stimulates my quad muscle and tightens it up and tries to ch train my leg um, teach it what kind of muscle I'm supposed to make every 30 seconds it tightens it for 10 seconds it pretty much used to be really brutal but now it actually feels good doing it right now it's crazy how tight it goes to how relaxed it goes so that's kind of what it's like to go through physical therapy with me I do that two days a week and I do most of those exercises two to three times a day at my house sometimes once when I forget thanks to Rothman thanks to my physical therapist Greg thanks to everybody who's been writing me you guys are really keeping the dream alive for me everyone's who's been writing me personal inbox on Instagram saying what's up just in a comment on Instagram or even sending me stuff it's been absolutely amazing <clears throat> I can't even believe this many people actually care about my well-being my showers have definitely changed since my first outside standing shower a lot but I still have to use the crutches in the shower just to be safe I'm not really really allowed to stand on my leg with the without the brace on so uh, I just go out there and use the crutches, but it's a hell of a lot easier. I can actually soap myself up, and uh, it's somewhat normal, but definitely not normal compared to regular life, but uh, not that bad. I felt like I was having some trouble breathing, came home and did a NEB treatment, did a hit of the uh, inhaled steroids, feeling pretty good. Here today at the local restaurant in my backyard. We have the uh, Democratic Burger Chef. Talking nothing but a burger in the backyard. Nothing like it. Whole fam's here. Don't come into my, my office, dude. It's private business. <laughs> no, I don't need it. Why? Because I don't want it. Oh, oh yeah, I do, actually. <laughs> Midway through week 10. Walking pretty good. Still limping, obviously. And uh, we're going to grill up some burgers in the backyard. Have a couple beers to celebrate. Life is good. I love you. Why is that so small? <laughs> Yee! What is it? The camera. Dude, Spicoli. Dude, I'm the 20th century version of Spicoli. Bigger, better, and higher. <laughs> I was like, dude, what is this? bro. Sup, bro? Sup, bro? Sup, bro? No, just numbers. One second. Two seconds. Are you British? How do you do it with yourself? Just talk to yourself. Oh, I'm British. How are you doing there, Jack? When you're surfing. Heading to the church big sale, baby. Woo! Is he really? Oh my god, he ate it. Oh, How much are you gonna drop at the big sale? Like 30 bucks, probably. Wow. Oh my god. Put down my son, Robert. What are these? Donuts? They no. are carrot cake. I, I didn't bring any money, though. I got money. <laughs> this is everything I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs>
Snickerdees. Which one? He's getting one of everything. I want this too. Oh, meals. Oh, meals. I want some more brownies. Yeah, that's fine with me. Thank you, guys. That's how you wrap up the community bake sale. We got everything on the menu. And we're out of here. What's up, everybody? I just want to say thank you for continuing to support me online, sending me stuff, comments, emails, messages, letters. It's been absolutely amazing. Um, I'm getting a lot healthier and I'm able to walk around and stuff, but uh, it's still hard for me to, you know, make it through physical therapy and, you know, just continue to work towards getting better and everything that you guys do helps. It's been very positive for me and uh, I'm feeling good mentally and a lot of it is due to everybody with the awesome comments on our YouTube on these videos and uh, just all the ongoing support. So, <clears throat> so I appreciate everything from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. You were always into hip hop. I always liked rock and roll. But neither of us ever gave a fuck, which was always pretty cool. We never had a secret handshake, but that's just how we rolled. Black El Camino Hunter spoke Dayton's like we're never getting old. Dr. Dre 2001 was kinda like our Bible. Smoking blunts in the movie theater parking lot, thinking we were cool. Punk rock for life tattooed, because you know you're rock and roll. Making millions does not compute, because it was never in the goals. But I give up. I'm trying to find a place to land. We're all weak, and I know that I'm no Superman. I can't fly, I don't care. I throw my money in the air. Because even if I saved it, it would take a million years for me to be a millionaire. I'm trying to find a place to land. We're all weak, and I know they don't know Superman. I can't fly, I don't care. I throw my money in the air Cause even if I saved it, it would take a million years For me to be a millionaire For me to be a millionaire For me to be a millionaire Yo, I killed it on the internet, still lacking in self-respect Hellbent on adrenaline, pelted her with the selfie stick Selfishness, free will, Smith and Wesson I learned my lesson when they dusted it for fresh prints I'm feeling fine again now that I'm drinking Hein again Spitting rhymes in my yard with all my finer friends We never tried to fit in and never gave a fuck What do I think of success? It sucks and fundamentally, my shit is punk But would anybody listen if it wasn't covered up? If I really took the blankets off and let you see the motherfucking monster underneath Would you still purchase my CDs? <sighs> my bad, MP3s, there'd still be an empty me And if I really let it breathe, I'd finally find my inner peace If you could enter me and see my energy, my enemy But the way it really is, not passed by positivity But what this world has given me is greater than just one man To have a course not like yours, of course I will keep fighting And you can be a part of this punk rock elected politics The smartest man on earth hides behind an alcoholic I give up I'm trying to find a place to land We're all weak And I know And I'm no superman I can't fly I don't care I throw my money in the air Cause even if I saved it It would take a million years For me to be a millionaire I'm trying to find a place to land We're all weak And I know That I'm no superman I can't fly I don't care I throw my money in the air Cause even if I saved it It would take a million years be a millionaire. Sorry for the bobbles. I actually wrote that song today, so it's rusty, but uh, I think it's going to turn into something special. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Nub TV. Please hit me up on Instagram if you have any desire to speak to me at Ben Gravy with two Y's. Out of here. Thanks.